We're learning more about the 59 year old married architect authorities believe was living a double life as the infamous Gilgo Beach serial killer. A former colleague has now come forward to say the hulking six foot four suspect left her a creepy voicemail. Les Trent has details. Rex Hewerman, the Manhattan architect who has been charged with three of the Gilgo Beach murders, left a chilling voicemail with this woman that she says creeps her out even today. He was a weirdo, and I didn't want to be around that. Interior designer Dominique Vidal was in a networking group with Hewerman. She says he actually discussed the murders with her. He asked me, do I know about the Gilgo Beach murders? And of course I do. And he goes on to tell me, yeah, that's a serial killer that was never caught in my hometown. She says Hewerman left her this bizarre voicemail after she quit the group because she didn't want to be around him. Hey, this is Rex. I heard you are no longer part of the group. I still wanted to talk to you. I had a question for you. I also wanted to touch base. So if you get an opportunity, you can always try me at the office. Hope you're doing good. Hope to talk to you soon. Also disturbing, Internet sleuths discovered this image on Google Street View. It shows Hewerman speaking to a woman on 36th Street close to his Manhattan office last summer. And we're learning that a criminologist gave cops a detailed profile of the Gilgo Beach serial killer 13 years ago. It turns out to be an eerily accurate description of Hewerman. Profiler Scott Bond told the New York Times in 2011 the killer would be a white male in his mid-40s. He is married or has a girlfriend, well-educated and well-spoken, financially secure, has a job and owns an expensive car or truck. That's Rex Hewerman to a T. Dr. Bond spoke with Anne Mercogliano. What was it about the murders that made you come up with this profile? He meticulously dismembered these w women, bound them up carefully in burlap bags uh, with various um, uh, ties, and then carefully deposited them in a, in a very secluded area. It takes a very organized type of killer to uh, engage in this type of activity. Meanwhile, cops have raided a storage facility on Long Island rented by Hewerman. These storage units in Amityville, New York are just three miles from Hewerman's house. They rent for up to $600 a month and police say he rented two of them. They are now collecting the contents, looking for any so-called trophies he may have collected from his alleged victims. We've just started. Uh, we're going to continue. We're going to follow through, and we're going to we're going to follow that evidence wherever it leads us. This just released video shows the moment Hewerman was arrested as he left his Fifth Avenue office last week. The hulking giant is suddenly surrounded by detectives and taken into custody without a struggle. I believe his fantasy was power and control. It wasn't sex per se. It was the need to play God. Here are many is charged with murdering three women and is a prime suspect in a fourth. He says he is innocent.